Hi guys, it's Izzy, and please do excuse the background. I tried to find a way where I can get the whole aquarium as just the background, but I couldn't find a way unless I just like stood really close to it and that was not doing me any favors. But anyway, enough about that. I wanna introduce this video because I am so, so, so excited about the next guest that I've got on today. His name is Shane and he is from The Creepy and Paranormal Show. And I've been watching his videos for a good few months now on YouTube. He's based all the way over in South Africa. So go check out his channel, check out his amazing accent. Shane's videos and all the topics he covers is just so interesting. Like it's the sort of content that I personally just sort of binge and binge and binge on YouTube. So his videos cover everything that you can imagine from the world of unsolved mysteries and supernatural, from UFO abductions to conspiracy theories, to ghost stories, to haunted places, you name it. So I actually came across his content when I was doing research for one of my own conspiracy theories and I've seen the content he makes and the true passion behind the videos he makes. So if you like my videos and the things that I cover, definitely go check out his because literally, like I said, I found his channel through doing research for my videos. So in this video, we decided to do the paranormal tag, which is basically where we both talk about our crazy supernatural experiences. After this video, do make sure to check out Shane's video because I go and answer all his lovely questions over there. And in the meantime, Let's dive into Shane's answers right away. So hi everyone. I want to welcome my guest Shane. So yeah, Shane, if you want to introduce yourself quickly. Cool. Perfect. How's it everybody? Um, thank you so much for having me on the show today. It is Shane Campbell from the Creepy and Paranormal Show all the way in South Africa. So I Ooh. am ready to put to the ringer with questions today. Um, yeah, first of all, let's just get started. Let's jump right in the deep end. Is your house haunted is what I want to know. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the house I'm living in now is not haunted. However, um, a house I grew up in as a child, there's some sort of paranormal entity in that house. I uh, do remember that exact house. Um, and every time I do have a dream of that place, it is almost like I am reliving that moment. So, yeah, there's definitely some hauntings that happened there. Oh, my God. What sort of things um, happened? So, yeah, there was a time, um, obviously, living in South Africa, house breakings are quite normal. Um, and I must have been about seven years old at the time. And um, we had a passageway that led through. And off the passageway was all the bedroom. And my stall to my hands all this i can only make it out as a black shadowy figure peering into my room but it was oh. like red glowing eyes like just oh looking at me i saw it i couldn't scream i was like just paralyzed by what i was seeing and when it left my room it carried on walking down the passage towards my parents room I just couldn't move. I was paralyzed. Yeah. And I think a couple nights later after that happened, my parents woke me up to let me know that there was uh, potential robbers in our garden, um, which my dad managed to chase away. So, yeah, I don't know if that was some sort of premonition of what was coming, uh, oh but God. that was just one instance that I can remember clear as day. That's so creepy. And like you said, with the red glowing eyes, it's not like there's going to be an actual person in the room then. Like, I mean, I've never come across anyone with red glowing yeah. eyes. So that is creepy. Oh my no, God. So, no, I, definitely I, not. <laughs> no, like, and like you said, that premonition that happened like very shortly after, so scary. So yeah, I suppose, have you always believed in ghosts mm. then? Yeah, definitely. Um, coming from a very... Um, not a religious background, but my mother was raised a Catholic. And as kids, we were initially raised as Catholic and then obviously allowed to choose whatever denomination we wanted to follow. And so the idea of good and evil has always been there. Uh, mm -hmm. Along with, for example, I know aliens aren't particularly paranormal, but I strongly believe in aliens as well. Yeah, and we more life mm -hmm. out there for that matter. Yeah, so just... A little sad story we lived in a house and it was just my mom and i living in that house at the moment we had i think you would call it a prophet that came to our house a lady uh to come and pray with us and she brought along with us well, along with her a young boy and an older gentleman and while we were praying in the lounge the young boy just stood up and started walking around the house so i kind of noticed this and she said oh don't worry don't mind him he just he goes where he feels things so we left him to do his thing 
and he came back to the lounge and while we were praying he just whispered something into this woman prophet's ear so she said look he walked past this first bedroom in the passage and when he looked inside the room he saw an old man with white white hair laying in a coffin so we're like well that's strange no one that we know has died recently so don't know what to make of that he saw the the old man with white hair in a coffin and yeah fast forward a couple of months my grandfather who had white hair actually moved into the house to come and stay with us and he lived in that room and yeah a couple months after that as well he soon passed away so i don't know if that was some sort of premonition from that kid or what but yeah it was just really really creepy that's so crazy like i've never heard it like the premonition side of the paranormal experiences that's really crazy that that seems to have yeah followed you around and yeah definitely keep an eye out then for anything Correct, yeah. weird from there on yeah definitely <laughs> have you ever had like a favorite place to investigate then yeah so i haven't had the opportunity to go yet um there's one famous one in south africa that pretty much every south african knows about it's called the kempton park haunted hospital um and really crazy story but my wife was actually born in that hospital before it uh, was closed down and it's only about 20 minutes away from where we stay as well so it's fairly close but they've now um, closed up the hospital you can't get in at all and they have security guards there but I have gone there one night with my best friend and the security guard simply told us like if we give him 50 rand which I'm not too sure how much that translates to in pounds but he said if we give him 50 rand he'll let us come through and go in and investigate around there. oh my god sick are you gonna do it yeah I, I definitely want to um it's definitely on my list it's become a bit mainstream so a lot of uh, people have got on there and um, just to see what's haunted about it but not necessarily people that i would say believe in the parents so i think once yeah. you start um believing in it you might also open yourself up and see more things there so yeah it's definitely on my one of my bucket lists definitely no that's really interesting that you mentioned that as well i think we discussed um earlier on the other collab as well that if you're open and like open your mind up to this sort of of the world you do end up more susceptible to it so do you do you think there is a um difference between you know the non-believers and the believers and the experiences that they receive as well i do i must be honest a lot of people say well i'm believe, so show me something and then i'll believe but i don't think it's that clear cut uh, I, mm. I think what tends to happen is the paranormal so let's just say it's a deceased person's spirit for example that's wanting a particular place i don't think they try and reach out to people that aren't going to try and see them so yeah. they almost feel like that energy they're using they wouldn't waste it on someone particularly interested in trying to find out about it so i do mm -hmm. think that maybe why those of us that do believe in it often do experience some things um but when it comes to for example demons uh, i think that's yeah. where it's a little different i think demons try to interact with those that don't believe to try and create more of a following um, in demonic kind of stuff. So yeah, that's more or less what I'd say about that. Yeah, that's such a good point because there is a distinction, isn't there really, between, you know, the ghosts, which might just be, you know, trapped spirits and the demonic side, you know, the ones that tend to yeah. curse people and follow them about. So yeah, that's such an interesting distinction. I've not actually heard that mm. side before, but I think just from people's experiences and stuff, you, you could be right there. So do you have much... Um, trouble you know do people in your own life do they believe in paranormal experiences <laughs> um so yeah uh my mom's pretty much open to it she like really i think is one of my biggest fans uh in terms of <laughs> that she really likes to watch it in that but um when she's watching this she'll probably agree with me she's very scared of it as well um not to dabble too much into it um so she's not <laughs> difficult to convince my wife on the other hand is completely um <laughs> against the idea and she doesn't really believe in it however myself share a quite a creepy experience which i have covered in the video which i will also send the link into the bottom of the description but yeah we experienced something uh, from that night she has sort of started to change her mindset on oh believing the creepy and paranormal a couple of my friends do believe in it um but i kind of know which friends do so I I, I tend to talk to them about it and those that don't believe in it i don't even bother because number one if they're not interested i'm not gonna 
bore them with the kind of information mm-hmm. on it. Yeah, it's something people have to experience for themselves, isn't it? It's almost hard to convince people that haven't experienced it for yourself. Have you got a quick summary, a quick glimpse into what happened with uh, you and your wife? Yeah, it, it was a, a house we were staying in slash looking after. Um, and yeah, so obviously I'll just give you a shortened version of it. But <laughs> I'll that, leave the full thing no, now. Upon entering the house, we obviously heard a lot of footsteps on the wooden flooring. And when we went out side the lights in the kitchen switched off and not all the lights switched off just the one particular light and we got freaked out from that so when we went back to my car to leave noticed my car door was open so yeah we were pretty freaked out by that jumped in my car got out of there and we realized that we had left our little puppy dog inside the house oh, so no, you I actually ran out to the house <laughs> no yeah, and uh, now we're like, oh gosh, we got to get the dog. So we went back, and uh, when I snuck back towards the house, bright lights came on running inside the house. And before I could turn and bolt, there was guys behind me that were informed by my wife what was going on. So they'd come to actually help me because they thought it could be another robber. Um, once again, yeah. South Africans. Oh. obviously always and um yeah so to this day we don't we don't know what it was because the light switch was down all the all the other lights were on it was just the one particular light that it went and yeah so like i say the full story and uh, what makes it really creepy in that video oh my god no that sounds creepy like you said like as soon as you come back and it's on and everything as well like just when you were there it was off like something was watching you i'm sorry yeah. <laughs> do you have a um favorite you mentioned you like to speak um with your mom about this sort of thing as well so do you have any favorite um tv shows or youtube channels of your own that you like to watch yeah so i'd say one that really got me um rabbit hole of conspiracy videos in particular was uh, Shane Dawson. I'm not too sure if you've heard of Shane Dawson. From, oh, God, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I absolutely love Shane Dawson's videos. Literally watched every single one of them. A huge fan of these. Um, often have tried to reach out to him to just because I'm a massive fanboy. Um, but, yeah, Shane Dawson has been brilliant. Um, sound like but really enjoy your videos as well, um, especially <laughs> with the content you produce on Princess Diana and the whole royal family. Love it so many conspiracy theories involving them as well so <laughs> you mentioned as well you've gone um sort of investigating with your friend as well or you're planning on investigating do you prefer investigating on your own or when you're experiencing these sort of paranormal experiences do you prefer having someone with you to yeah see the whole thing with you yeah when when i want to go and do these investigations there's a couple of places i'd love to go and do it uh, one of them being pilgrim's rest Another famous one in South Africa that a uh, best friend of mine told me about, and he experienced something also really creepy there. And funny enough, done a video on that as well. Um, but yeah, there's these places I want to go and investigate. Definitely want to go with people. Uh, number one for safety reasons, <laughs> and number yeah. two just to share, share in that experience because sometimes, um, like we mentioned on your video, that people won't believe you on certain stories because it's so far out there. So yeah, I definitely would love to do it with friends. Yeah, see some eyewitnesses as well and be like, everyone's seen that, someone will vouch for each other. <laughs> exactly. So do you know anyone else in your own personal life that has had paranormal experiences? Yeah, so my, my auntie, um, she currently lives in a different province at the moment and um, she's always been pretty much open to feeling things from the other side and um particular house that they grew up in as children we also got to experience this house as children and stayed in there for a while and we also thought the house was rather freaky and um, she often said her bedroom in particular she always felt like there was something in that room watching her um what game is weird because time back to premonitions she also experienced some form of a premonition saying that my wife and I, we were trying to fall pregnant. And uh, at that time, it had been close to five years. We were struggling to fall pregnant. And she had said to us that she had seen our child we were going to have one day. And this child was going to be born in February. Um, and eventually, at one stage, we did fall. Then we, we had a miscarriage. And only later on did we work out the date that that miscarriage baby would have been born in February. 
So it was just things that that are just prove that she really does have yeah some sort of connection to a feeling of the other side. I don't know what you'd call it, um, but she's definitely in touch with those um, yeah feelings, I guess. That's crazy that she, yeah, again, going back to the premonitions. Oh, my God. If I ever need anything predicting, I'm coming to your family. <laughs> you seem to know it all. Yeah, <laughs> 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 please, I wish a lot of numbers would be fantastic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally. What are your thoughts on animals experiencing the paranormal? Or do you have any experiences with paranormal animals uh, or even ghosts of animals? Have you seen anything like that? Yes, I personally haven't had any experience with to that regard, but I do strongly, strongly believe that um, pets in particular, just because they're more close and touch with human feelings and emotions, I do think they are able to sense and see things that the, the normal human eye can't see. But unfortunately, I haven't experienced anything with that regard, no. In terms of then, say, your absolute dream place to investigate say you know money isn't a thing time isn't a thing say you can just jet off wherever you wish in the world where would you pick where's on the bucket list so so there's two places uh number one would be the stanley hotel where the shining uh, was filmed and recorded i absolutely love the shining movie and i love the stanley hotel um and then obviously new england in the united states of america um that whole area apparently has got a lot of rich history in hauntings and witches and all that kind of stuff so definitely those two places oh my god such a good answer as well i mean the shining hotel is just yeah i mean besides the fact it looks like an amazing hotel there's definitely some eerie stuff going on there and like you said the america america Mm. as a whole is bucket list material for haunted material isn't it yeah it really is yeah thank you so much uh for taking the time to speak with me today shane and for t- sharing your experiences with my lovely viewers um is there anything else from your side that you may have you know experienced paranormal wise that you wish to share as well that i've not asked yeah so firstly thank you so much for having me on the show today it's been really awesome to be on the other end of the camera and answering the questions for one so it's <laughs> really been awesome thank you so much um, I must say, without exaggerating, I do have a, a, a ton of experience that I've experienced. They're mostly of videos that I've done and recorded, so I'd like to uh, share those for you to obviously share with your audience, um, and they can obviously make their minds up with that. But yeah, firm believer in the paranormal. Yeah, if anyone hasn't already, if you like my channel, you will definitely, definitely love Shane's channel. Like we said, we have a quite similar YouTube story, don't we, as well? We both started with, like, yeah. film reviews and stuff like that as well. So anything that basically I find is interesting, I know I can find on your channel as well. So if anyone at Likewise, home isn't yeah. already subscribed, <laughs> definitely subscribe to Shane because, yeah, it'd be a waste not to. And yeah, is there anything else you want to say in regards to your channel as well before we go? Yeah, uh, as, please uh, definitely head over to my channel. Um, I think the biggest thing that helps us as YouTubers is interaction. So comments, mm-hmm. suggestions, and that from um, people that are watching the shows and that it might seem like it's uh, really a tedious task or it doesn't seem like it adds any value, but it really does. So we like to hear from the folks on the other end of the camera. So please hit us up and give us some suggestions. Yeah, definitely so true. And like I said, you're so interactive on your channel as well. Like anyone that comments, you can see you're so interactive with them and actually take the time to hear out their stories and listen to their yeah collabs as well. Because it was actually yourself that suggested this collab. And that was, yeah, absolutely amazing because I rarely, rarely do this on YouTube as well, like doing collabs anymore. So yeah definitely great it's always nice to build up a community of you know people who who watch your channel people whose content you love as well so Mm. yeah thank you so much for welcoming me into this paranormal community as well so it's been an absolute pleasure having you on the channel Mm. and i hope our our paths cross um cross again shortly yeah thank you absolutely agree thank you so much i'd love that (laughs) Thank you. And yeah, have a fabulous rest of the day. (laughs) See ya. (laughs) Thanks, Ed.